dear children i am anubindu here to teach you eighth class chemistry you have to take 100 pages single ruled book that is one side you will be having white page one side you will have you will be having ruled so you take that book and just consider it as a chemistry notes you write all the notes in that single sided book now let us go into the lesson a third lesson in our textbook is synthetic fibers and plastics so from childhood you have been using many types of fabrics that is t-shirts frocks long skirts what not all so let us know how they are made we all know that these fibers are having a basic source as either natural fibers or synthetic fibers man made fibers are also called as synthetic fibers so let us see how do they make fibers these fibers are made from threads these threads just they just roll it into yarns yarns are just made as fabrics from fabrics they just send it to the textile industry and make it into our desired shapes of clothes so next we are going to learn about sources what are the natural fibers children cotton which we get from the cotton seed silk which we get from the silk worms and wool which we get from our animals so we can also see artificial fibers these artificial fibers are also known as synthetic fibers these synthetic fibers are of many types as we all know rayon nylon let us learn in detail we all wear clothes they are our basic needs long ago human beings used leaves barks of trees skins of animals to cover their bodies then they learned the art of weaving and started making cloth children shall i ask you a small question why do we need clothes yes we need clothes to protect us from heat cold rain dust etc do you know how these clothes are made clothes are woven from fibers like cotton silk wool such fibers these fibers are maybe man made or natural define fiber fibers are threads that are obtained from their sources such as plants and animals if they are natural fibers these fibers are made into yarns which are then made as a fibers are classified into two types natural fibers man made fibers natural fibers they origin from either plants or animals let us see about the plant fibers we have cotton flax jute as plant fibers from animals we get wool and silk as fibers now let us learn about the man made or synthetic fibers these man made fibers are made from different types of chemical sources examples of man made fibers are nylon polyester polyethylene polypropylene rayon etc what are synthetic fibers let us learn about that now try to recall the pattern of a necklace which is made up of beads yes you remember that all that necklace is made up of small pearls or beads like that we just define synthetic fibers as a chain of a small units joined together each unit actually is a chemical substance many such small units combine to form a large single unit called polymer poly means many mer main parts polymer is made from many monomers monomers means mono means one mer means parts the same monomer units repeat in a chain like structure to form as a polymer so we just say that all our fibers and fabrics are polymers 
polymers also occur in nature as natural fibers such as cotton cellulose cellulose is made up of large number of glucose units types of synthetic fibers how many types of synthetic fibers did we see in the classification yes one among them is rayon rayon has been discovered first by china the source of rayon is chemical treatment of wood pulp the uses of rayon are rayon is used in making a wide variety of colors for the fibers rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets and are mixed with wool to make carpets the characteristics of rayon are it is a very beautiful texture it has a very beautiful texture at the same time it is uh, cheaper than silk woven like silk fibers it is also known as artificial silk nylon is another man made fiber in 1931 it was made without using any natural raw material either from plants or from animals it was prepared from coal water and air nylon the source is coal water and air it was the first fully synthesized synthetic fiber the characteristics of nylon are nylon fiber was strong elastic and light it was lustrous means it has a shiny nature if you want you can just take out your socks and see it is easy to wash it became very popular for making clothes for these reasons also the uses of nylon are we use many articles made from nylon such as socks ropes tents toothbrushes car seat belts sleeping bags curtains handbags luggage bags also nylon fibers are used for making parachutes and ropes for climbing a nylon thread is more stronger than a steel wire now let us perform an activity at home to find out the strength of the synthetic fibers children all that you need is take page number 34 in your textbook activity 3.1 figure 3.5 take an iron stand with a clamp take a cotton thread of about 60 cm length tied to the clamp so that it hangs freely from as it has been shown at the free end suspend a pan so that the weight can be placed at it add weight one by one till the thread breaks repeat this experiment with wool polyester nylon and now you can see the observations you can make it in your textbook in page number 34 in observation table 3.2 and you can see at what weight does the thread starts to stretch and break please note down this and this tells you the more weight which thread can accommodate has more strength so do this activity in the textbook and come children for the above activity to do at your home if you don't have an iron stand you can use a hook or a nail that is hanging on the wall hang the fibers and place the weights in the polythene bag to the other end in case of weight you may use marbles or pebbles which are of similar size the other synthetic fiber is polyester the word polyester has been pronouncing as poly means many ester means a sweet smelling compounds or chemicals 
the polyester is made up of repeating units of a chemical called ester esters are the chemicals which give fruits their smell for example you can see the smell of an apples have a sweet smell that we say it as ester banana has a sweet smell you can feel it as a ester jackfruit has a sweet smell that is an ester for your understanding i have been telling you children you can enjoy them in the holidays happily but be careful fabrics are sold by the names like polycot polywool terricot as the name suggests they are the blending of two fibers means they are the mixing mixing of two fibers for example polycot means polycot is a fiber which is blended with polyester mixed with cotton generally we get this in the form of bed sheets and pillows and door curtains polyesters polyesters are as i told you they are the repeating units of ester polywool is a mixture of polyester and wool we just say them as blended fibers blended fibers are nothing but a combination of both synthetic fibers or one synthetic fiber and a natural fiber examples of such blended fibers are polycot which is a mixture of polyester and cotton polywool polyester and wool so like this we can learn about polyester polyester has been used for main mainly dress materials we just make many dress materials out of polyester you must have been seen people wearing polyester shirts and other dresses terrelin is also an example for polyester it can be drawn into very fine fibers which can be woven like any other yarn also it has a very glaziness chillen it cannot be wrinkled very easily means even you use it for a long time it does not get older like cotton cloths it does not wrinkle easily so it is a synthetic the other example for polyester is polyethylene terephthalate we also call it as pet it is very familiar form of polyester it is used for making water bottles utensils films and wires go to your kitchen ask mom to show what is a pet water bottle and a pet jar which we just store different things in the kitchen yes now we are going to learn about another synthetic fiber we call it as acrylic before just asking what is acrylic let us remain remember in winter what do you do what do you wear yes we wear sweaters use shawls and blankets is it not what are they made of yes they are made of wool these acrylic are prepared from another type of synthetic fiber called acrylic fiber these just resemble woolen products but not woolen they are artificial fibers they are relatively cheap when compared to wool they are available in varieties of colors and also they are most durable and affordable which makes more popular than natural fibers this is all about a uh, synthetic fibers you can see last we compare to study for rayon nylon all these polyesters so let us meet in the next session with characteristics of synthetic fibers children a small note please subscribe so that you can get the continuous video videos without any interruption rayon nylon polyester and acrylic rayon is also known as artificial silk nylon is the first synthetic fiber made from chemicals polyester is made from monomer units of esters acrylic is made as a lightweight soft and warm which looks like wool coming to the sources of rayon rayon is obtained from wood pulp 
which is given as a chemical treatment nylon is made up of coal petroleum air and water polyester is made from petroleum acrylic is a uh, wrinkle resistant and does not shrink it is cheaper than wool rayon absorbs more moisture and is comfortable to wear nylon is strong elastic wrinkle resistant absorbs little water and easy to wash R- polyester is extremely strong chemical resistant wrinkle resistant very durable and does not absorb water easily and quick to dry acrylic can be dyed easily in varieties of colors children this is all about the synthetic fibers as i told you we'll meet in the next session with characteristics and a small note here you can use a single sided book for chemistry notes one has been used for physics one can be used for chemistry and please read the textbook and please put a comment if you have any doubt also subscribe so that you will get the continuous videos without any interruption thank you